house and sun. There's a bluish greenish grass on the outside of the building. Yes. And you are in the middle of this place? Yeah. Uh huh. And if you take a look of your feet, what do you see? I see. Mm -hmm. My skin is blue. Uh huh. Are you wearing anything? I have like, like a golden yes. kind of corset type of thing and golden black. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I'll just try your best. Like golden black. Yeah. So this is some type of like a uniform or just regular clothes? I'm not sure. Alright, so if you stick on your arms and your hands, what do you see? How many? Do you have two arms? I have three. Three arms? You just have four fingers. Four fingers. And you have two legs? Yes, two legs. Uh -huh. And what your face looks like? Mm -hmm. Yellowish kind of eyes. Oh. And you have big eyes? Really big eyes. And like a, it's like a dragon like people. Oh. Okay. Do you have nose and mouth? I have like a uh -huh. dragon like kind of thing. What is that? My face is kind of like in the shape of a dragon. Your feet? My face. Oh, your face. I see. And do you have hair? Dark blue hair. And do you feel you're male or female? Just I'm not feel. sure. Uh, all right. And do you feel you're young or? Young. Uh, and do you know your age? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and so you stand up like a human? Yeah. Uh huh. And do you have a tail? I have like a scaly dragon like tail. Uh, and if you look around, do you see other beings are like you? See, when they're different color, purple, yellow, uh -huh. red, uh -huh. and blue. Uh huh. So why everyone has a little bit different color? Is that the way it is? Yeah. Uh huh. So, do you have a name, Octavia? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That sounds like a female, or we're not sure. I think gender is kind of not looked at or uh -huh. anything. Oh, I see. And so, what is uh, the name of this planet? You can see the letters in your mind, one by one. I'm not sure. Alright, that is okay. And so, do you know that how far is from this planet to Earth? Have you heard of Earth? I've heard of it. Is Earth far away? It's very far away. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, some of us are trying to visit Earth. Yeah. Okay, so why they like to go to Earth? For what reason? To study the civilization. Oh, and so they use a ship to go there? Yeah. Uh-huh. And do you know how long it would take for them to get there? 22,000 years. Mm -hmm. And so when you say years, this is the year that we use on Earth? Ah, oh, I see. How long do you live? Quite long. About? Yeah. Around 100,000. 100,000? 100,000 to 200,000 Earth years. Oh, light years. Earth years. Earth years. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And what do you do on this planet? We study other civilizations. Too. So, does that mean that you don't have civilization? Ours isn't fully constructed. Oh. So it's a new planet? Very new. Uh -huh. And now who created this planet? I'm not sure. So, when you say oh, there are buildings, what does it look like? Hmm. It's like a white stone, kind of like, it's really tall and like kind of in a dome shape. Uh -huh. So what this building is for? They're for people to live in. And how many people do you have on this planet? Do you know? I'm not sure. Uh -huh. And so there are many buildings like that or not that many? There's that all kind of look like each other? So yeah. But this one is white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so on Earth, we use elevator so to get to the top of the building. The buildings are quite short, so we don't wow. use the in the floors. And do you use it as well to get some information and study? But oh. I'm going back to my building, which is a blue building. So what are you studying here? I'm trying to figure out what civilization is like on Earth. So this building is like a school or library? Oh, I see. So you study on your own or with someone else? Mostly on my own, but some people have helped me along the way. So what did you learn about the civilization of art? 
I've learned that mm -hmm. human being controlled by money and the idea of having a currency system mm -hmm. has with greed and jealousy, hatred, mm -hmm. and has caused many people to become corrupt, morally corrupt. Morally corrupt. What you can do to help with this? That's what we're trying to figure out. The things that you studied, is this uh, something only happens on Earth or happens on other places, yeah, other planets? We've studied Earth, but we're also studying other planets of mm -hmm. different some of them are different textures, different colors, different life forms. One of them is. Mm, I see. So what do you? What's going on? So what is the 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 system on your planet? The social system, economic system. Do people work? People work, and we all get the same things, the same amount of money, and the same amount of, uh -huh. of everything. Uh -huh. So there's no difference. Mm -hmm. There's nobody is uh, richer than others. Yeah. Do you use money? Not really. Mm. So how can you get things if you need anything? They provide to us through our work. Uh, so the work you do is uh, to study other planets, civilization? That's my personal work, but other people are uh -huh. teachers, doctors, engineers. And do you have government? We work under one being. Who is this being? I can only describe her. Yeah, please do. She's green. Mm -hmm. She has yellow dragon-like eyes. Mm -hmm. She wears blue and green beautiful dresses mm -hmm. and has wings. Uh -huh. So she doesn't look like you and others? She looks similar to us, but she's only one of us who has wings. What she uses the wings for? To better get around and help. Uh -huh. So what do you call her? We don't have a name for her. We don't speak of her. So how do you uh, communicate with each other? Verbally. How do you say hi? I'm trying to remember. Just use your knowing. Through our hair. That's the word? Our hair. Oh, you through your hair. How do you do that? We're able to move our hair in any way and change its colors. And it allows us to change into different colors that tell each other different things. So different color will have a different meaning? Yeah. You don't use words. We use words sometimes. Uh -huh. Only the really wise ones use words. Oh. Ah. Mm. But you usually don't use words? I use some words. Uh -huh. And any word, words you can just try to pronounce it? Fellow. Fellow? Or fellow. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Um, trying to remember. Mm -hmm. It's a way to communicate a great loss or a great hunger. Great loss or a great hunger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, do you have parents? I was separated from them when I was born, just as all of us are. Why? They don't want to stay attached to anyone. So, do you still uh, keep in touch with them sometimes? Yeah. Oh, and do you remember them? I remember my father was red and my mother was green. So after, as soon as you were born, will you will be detached from them? We're taken and put into a an area with all a bunch of other kids from that year uh -huh. and we're then we're then nurtured mm -hmm. and grown you are nurtured by whom? by the red ones oh. so the different color means uh, um, different responsibilities different occupation it can uh, so when you look at the, the, the person's color you understand yeah mm -hmm. and one once again let's see if you can you remember the name of this planet? Ursebula. 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 So now, I want you to tell me what made Mars so? What made you come to Earth eventually? It was how civilization worked mm -hmm. and interest in helping the civilization grow. Mm -hmm. And so when you made that decision, do you need to talk to anyone? No. Uh -huh. So you can just go anyone can just leave but they're scared too but there's what but they're scared too oh why they're scared because our civilization provides us with everything that we need and oh. when we leave we can't go back and get the things that we need anymore so why you are not afraid because i'm dedicated to being a way to help other civilizations mm -hmm. grow mm -hmm. 
All right, so now just tell me the how to say the process of when you're going to Earth. What do we need to do first? I need to convert into human form. Oh, how do you do that? Well, we're put through a training oh. that builds us into a different way and develops us more. And we're given medications, oh. but they're um, plant medicines. Oh. So, tell me about the plant medicine. Which one is that? And what does that do? The blue leaves help to give us a further knowledge mm -hmm. and understanding of how civilization should work. How long does the, the training take? 222 years. And who is training you? Our leader. Mm, okay. So when you finish the training, then what do you do next? Then we get into a small compressed ship and we start making our way to Earth. It takes yeah. Um, it takes a while. Mm -hmm. It takes probably, even though we're traveling at the speed of light, yeah. it still will take 222,000 light years. 222,000 light years? Yeah. Mm. So you live for 100,000 to 200,000. That is the, the almost lifetime. When we're taking our plant medicines, it, it lengthens our lifespan. So the plant medicine will tell me what the so that will uh, change the the, it the time will, uh, lengthen the lifespan. Oh. So one you are so how many uh, this ship only can take one person or only one person. Oh. And mm -hmm. who you can operate the ship the ship? No, the ship just goes by itself. Oh. So what is it? This ship is uh, operated by our leader still controls it even not. On our planet. Oh. So when you are in the ship, since it takes a while to get to Earth, what do you do? We ponder on our lifetimes and we think about how we can further grow civilization. And so, is this your first time going to Earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so what do you get to Earth? What do you do? What are you planning to do? Start civilization and make it grow with music. Oh. Why with music? Because music affects you emotionally and can affect you physically through because your emotions mm -hmm. cause you to do different things. Oh. So when you are get close to Earth, uh, or the when you can see Earth, what happens? We're let out of the spaceship mm -hmm. and we kind of swim over to Earth. Oh. How do you do that? We let out water through our hands oh. and we go through them. Oh. So where is that, um, which part is uh, that water on Earth? Do you remember? I don't. And when you get to, when you touch the water, how do you feel? Amazing. So you don't have the same water on your planet? It's, the Earth water is fresher. Oh. It's newer, but it won't stay that way for long. The pollution continues to increase. All right, so then what do what you do next? We swim to civilization and provide them with ways that they can manage their emotions. And ways that they can help each other uh -huh. and stay connected. But I'm confused. The Mars was born on Earth. This is a different lifetime. It is. Uh -huh. But the one you talk about just now, that you just came to Earth, came here. You came here to just help. You came yeah. to help, but they also came to create mm -hmm. what would be Mars, and that's why I have a connection to them. Oh, so that's why. When you decide to come to Earth, to be born on Earth, and you give yourself this name, Mars? Yeah, and Mars's mother was also my mother on a different planet. So you're talking about the, the planet, Mars? No, on, on our planet. Yeah. Mars's mom uh -huh. was also my mom, but in a different lifetime. What kind of a connection you had with your mom? I didn't mm -hmm. talk to her or anything. Yeah. But like I said, I remember her color and there was some sort of connection between us even if we couldn't talk, communicate, whatever. Right. I'm talking about the mom on Earth, Kim. Do you have any connection with her before? Yeah. Why, why you decide to choose her to be your mom? Because she was the smartest and would be the most nurturing and caring and would mess up sometimes make some mistakes, mm -hmm. but still in the end, 
be able to care for me. Mm. And how about your dad? There's any reason you chose him? He has his flaws. He has a lot of flaws. But in his heart, he knows that he still loves me. Uh-huh. I see. So tell me a little bit more about the time that you came to Earth for help. And what did you, what else did you do? What do you mean? So when you came to Earth and you went through the water and then you helped, um, you helped, what did you do to help? Like I said, I brought a lot of music oh. related talents and I moved my talents into my future self. Future self. But what do you look like when you are on Earth? I have tan skin. But there's one blue spot on my cheek from when I was on the other planet. Uh -huh. So you look like human? I do look human. Uh -huh. But this human body, where did you get this body? I morphed into it with the plant medicines. So, but this person um, lived in where? Where on earth? And what was your name? I still went by the name Octavia. Uh -huh. But I, United States. Yes. New York specifically. So when was this? If you use Earth here, 2007. So is this, uh, in a way, the uh, life before Mars? Yeah. Okay. So this person is still there? Not anymore. Oh. The lifetime ended and continued on with Mars. Oh. So how this person ended his life or her? Is it male or female? Gender again. Gender isn't really looked at. Okay. So how this person continued? his or her life as a Mars. How did you do? I transferred all of my knowledge and all of my being into Mars. And even if Mars couldn't remember it all the time, I was still there and could be unlocked. Oh, I see. So what is the Mars uh, purpose on Earth? To help other people through music. Is she doing If He or she is doing that? Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. So we always can continue this another time. I will get more information from from doing like this and now